Men, I need you to clarify this for me. Why is it the nicer we are to you? So, I was just getting to go to bed and, and I saw this thing. So, you want an answer? Okay. <clears throat> I'll give you an answer. Um, Because you become the nice guy that all girls hate. So, if you watch Megamind, the guy that's half dropped for the, the reporter, he's only nice to her so that he can get something in return. It's not being nice. That is being only doing good actions and looking good so that you can get something in return, which is selfish. It's the only, only motivation you have for doing nice things is because you want a payday. Not because you want to do it out of your own good heart. <sighs> well, let's further explain some things, too. Uh, now, but a lot of women take for granted nice things that we do for you. And um, I have, like, used to pick up stuff, and then it becomes all sweet and nice at start. And then it becomes a hassle, and it's not appreciated, so we do it less. Uh, you also then give us more attention at times if we are mean uh, to you or if we become distanced. Like if you're driving us crazy, then we push away, and the cat thing comes out. And uh, that means you want to give us attention even though we're trying to push away just to get some space. So, yeah. There's all kinds of memes and stuff that kind of help justify this, put it into a better picture. Like the difference when a girl goes out and her husband goes out, he doesn't really care. Uh, not asking a whole lot of questions and she gives him the fifth degree. So yeah, there's, there's a whole lot of reasons. Um, uh, uh, probably because sometimes you think you're nice. I've had uh, females that said, I'm so nice. Uh, no, no. What you, you think is nice is you kind of giving out backhand comments. You know, it, it, you're making it sound like a compliment, even though it's not like, you know, in the South, oh, bless your heart. So, yes, um, uh, I've had a few girlfriends and so forth that have done this with really great accuracy, very great accuracy. It's, it's almost like if your boyfriend said to you, you know, honey, you're 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 a good solid six, but if you lost some weight and put on some makeup, you could be a, a freaking like high eight, maybe a nine. Yeah, paid you a compliment. Didn't like it, did you? No, you did not. So, uh, yeah. So, with that said. You might want to take a look and wait if you're really being nice for nice sake or if you're being nice like that, you know, reporter, camera guy to get something in return. Because a lot of times we have to pay for the dates. We have to do the planning. And and uh, it gets tedious when it's like, hey, let's go out to eat. I'm hungry. And you're like, McDonald's? No, I don't want McDonald's. And then you turn down every single thing. Or stuff that used to be good isn't good enough anymore. Or just doing peppering you with questions while you're trying to do something. And yeah, no. It, it doesn't work. So, some people think they apologize and they really don't apologize. It's, it's not a real apology. So, uh, like one scenario uh, I have is um, I was asked to go get certain groceries and I said no to them because it's not going to be good enough. Because it's never good enough. There's always something wrong. If you want it, you go get it. And after whining, bickering, and so forth, I 
They sent me out to go get the groceries. And they liked a specific kind of milk. Well, Hy-Vee did not have that very specific kind of milk. It had the brand, but not the specific kind of milk. So I bought the closest thing there, too, of the same brand. Yeah. Uh, we got braided when they got home. This guy did. And I said, look, I told you. I told the whole story. It's like, this is why I don't like doing shit for you. Because it's never good enough. Even if I make a decision. And then we went to Hyphy. Did she apologize to me? No. She just said, hmm, they don't have my milk. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. There's always that kind of stuff changed. Another story from the same relationship. I had an opportunity to go on cruises and draw on cruise and sell my artwork on cruises. And I said, hey, this is a great idea. Work all summer long, take cruises. All I gotta do is work six hours a day, minimum. I can choose to work longer if I want to. I could bring someone to help me. And basically it's a paid cruise. We get free room and board. No. And then I said, well, I'll just go by myself then. Says, she told me if you did, they don't expect me to be waiting for you to come back. So well, basically we're over. So I didn't take that opportunity. After uh, a few years had passed, the topic got brought up again. And the words that come out of her mouth like, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Why didn't we, why didn't she ever say we should do that? I would have done that. And this is the same person that blamed me why they weren't further ahead in selling their art. And that was one of many job opportunities that I passed up. So, yeah. She was the nice one. <laughs>